Hi guys, this is Yang Yang. Great to have you watch this video. Today I'm going to talk about how to play forehand topspin. Forehand topspin is an important and useful technique in table tennis. It has more power than any other strokes and it will help you get a score quickly. So we'd like to create more opportunities to use this technique in our games. In this tutorial, I will teach beginners how to play forehand topspin and I will give an advanced player three tips to improve your forehand topspin. Before going to the formal tutorial, let's see some similarities and differences between forehand drive and forehand topspin that will help you better understand forehand topspin. Basic body position. Stand at the right side of the table. Same weight transfer from right leg to left leg. They have similar but different strokes. Forehand top spin is bigger than forehand drive. Forehand drive is like this. The forehand top spin is. The distance to the table is different between forehand drive and forehand top spin. Forehand drive is close to the table. But forehand top spin is one arm, one forearm length from the table. When you play forehand top spin, I would recommend you to use wrist to increase the spin and the direction of the ball. If we move our wrist up and down, it will increase the spin of the ball. If we move our wrist like this, it will change the direction of the ball. But we don't use our wrist when we play forehand drive. When we use top spin, we face either top spin or no spin ball. We discuss the defensive players and the blockers in other sections. But we use drive only when we face the no spin ball. When we play forehand drive, we hit in the middle of the ball. When we play forehand top spin, we hit at the top of the ball. Forehand top spin is more popular than forehand drive in table tennis because it can be really powerful and spinning that will make your opponent feel uncomfortable to return the ball. So, when you reach a higher level, I would recommend you to create more chance to use forehand topspin rather than forehand drive. Let's watch a short video which compare those two different techniques. First, stand at the right side of the table. Take one step back, about one full arm length from the table. Second, open your legs more. That will help you stabilize when you try to put more power. Third, start from ready position. Twist your body and arm back a little bit back. Make sure your right shoulder is lower than your left one and your racket is almost directly down. 
force. Move your body and arm forward and upward. Meanwhile, transfer your weight from right leg to left leg and hit the ball in front of you. Fifth, finish the stroke as your arm above your eyes and a little bit past your head. Make sure your body, your shoulder, and your arm face the table. So the whole process is looks like this. Okay, let's see my demonstrations from three different angles.
that's all the lessons for the day. I wish you have a wonderful weekend. Travel around and take a break from working or studying. I will see you in my next video. Bye.